Hi, I'm Tom from the 125 Live Tech Mates team. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the home screen settings on your Android smartphone. To open your home screen settings menu, press on an empty space on your home screen, and then tap on home settings. Opens up your settings menu. You'll get a list of settings that you can change. The top one, is app suggestions, which on my phone is on. So you see it's it's colorful and to the right, the knob. And then if I tap on it to close it, it'll move the dot to the left and gray it out. I'm gonna turn it back on, tap on it. Notification dots are on. And what they are is a colorful dot that will appear on the, usually on the top right side of an application's icon, indicating that there's some type of, of activity or business that you need to take care of with your application. An example would be email. And if you had, say, uh, some new email that you haven't opened yet, then the dot would appear on the top right corner of your email icon. And in some instances, there'd be a number in there indicating how many unopened emails you had. Another example would be the weather application. If there was a weather alert, new weather alert coming up, that type of thing, then there would be a dot, colorful dot, appearing on the top right of your weather application icon, indicating that there's, you better check this out. So I'm gonna leave it on. The next option is add icon to home screen for new apps. This is something that most people are gonna want on uh, because if you're in the, in, in the Google Play Store and install a new application, this will automatically put an icon on your home screen for the application. That's pretty handy because if you decide you wanna run this application, Later, it's pretty easy, but if you don't do this, then you're gonna to have to go find it first. So usually you wanna leave that on. Allow home screen rotation when phone is rotated. That's, I think for most people off, and for me it's off too, but I'll turn it on so I can demonstrate to it, it to you shortly. What that means is that most people are gonna hold their, their phone in a portrait orientation. But if you rotated your phone to a landscape orientation, then it rearranges everything in your screen to make, make it uh, so it's like a wide screen, that type of thing. So you'll see that shortly and, and probably understand why you're probably going to want it off. Next is swipe access. And currently it says show nothing to the left of the home screen. That's the way I like it because if I turn it on, which I'll do that right now, I'll get the Google feed. If I tap on Google feed, and basically what that is, is if I swipe from left to right off the side of my screen will appear the weather, some news, and probably some advertising. I don't like that way of getting the news because Google's kind of telling me what the news is. I like to go out and read the news on my own. So I usually leave that off, but I'm gonna leave it on so I can demonstrate that for you. Next is home screen layout. As you see, I have mine on four by five. I'll tap on it and you'll see that there's another option, five by five. So right now I have it on four by five and the examples of what your screen might look like are on the top of my screen. Mine looks quite a bit like this, but I'm four by five and as you can see on the second screen to the right there, there are actually 24, not 20. Reason being that it doesn't count the four uh, icons on the bottom of the screen. Those are special. They're always there on all of your home screens. So four by five means you got the 20 on the top plus the four on the bottom. If I change it to five by five, now I have 29. 25 on the top, 
plus the four on the bottom. I'm going to put it back to four by five, which is the way I like it. And you'll see what that looks like on my phone shortly. So let's go home and I'll let you see a couple of these things, how they work. First, let's look at notification dots. As you can see, my Gmail application on the top left row there has a dot on it. And that indicates that I have a new Gmail that came in. My weather app does not. And if that, if a weather alert came along sometime shortly, then one would appear there. And then I'd know to check that out. Next, home screen rotation. I'm going to rotate my phone to a landscape orientation. And you'll see what, what happens. It makes my, my uh, widget with the time and the weather kind of tiny. And, uh, and I suppose there'd be ro room for a couple of more icons. And it makes them a little smaller too. So I don't really care for that. So I usually turn that off. I'm going to rotate back to portrait mode again. And then you can see it's right back again. Next, swipe access Google feed. I'm going to swipe from left to right off the side of my screen. Oops, I pressed on it. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to home screen. Try again. And basically, I moved one of my icons over. I'm going to put that icon back by pressing on it, dragging and dropping it to put it back on my first home screen again. I get into this in detail another video. If you're interested in knowing how to do these types of things, check into that video. But I'm going to swipe from left to right again. And I did it this time, and there you can see I've got the weather on the top, and I have some news and stuff like that. And then some of the stuff further there might actually be advertising. It's amazing how advertisers are getting to look more like news. So they're getting pretty creative and uh, that type of thing. But again, I don't really like this on, so I'm gonna swipe back again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on empty space on my home screen, tap on home settings, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to say, okay, I'll leave the app suggestions on, notification dots on, that's good. Hide icons, the home screen, yeah, let's leave that on. Home screen rotation, no, I'm going to turn that off. And swipe access, I'm going to go on there and say nothing. Thank you. And then um, home screen layout, four by five is good enough for me. There we go. So that's it for this demo. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, tune in again. We'll be offering more videos from time to time. And we'll also be updating existing videos as things change.